guys, so I have a New York City haul. Nick and I, every year at Christmas time, we make it a tradition and we go and we stay overnight and we get massages and just spoil ourselves, go out for a nice dinner, and of course do some shopping. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I got. Um, okay, so first place we went to Dylan's Candy Bar, which I had never been there, and I just wanted to see it. I'm not like a huge candy fiend, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I was like, I just want to go see what this place is all about. So I love the bag, it's so cute. And I just got one little souvenir kind of thing, an ornament of course. Um, wasn't planning on getting anything, but when I saw this, I couldn't leave it in the store. <laughs> the cutest. It's a little glass tray of cupcakes that says red velvet on it and it's just so cute. I just had to have it. So got that little ornament for our tree. Then we went to Saks because I had been wanting to try the um, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and I also wanted to get some Bath and Body products that I, you can't get at Sephora. So um, when we went to Saks, I first picked up the foundation, which is what I'm wearing now. And I mentioned in my Christmas video that was the foundation that I'm wearing. It's in the color Medium Ivory. It comes in this little tube and um, I like it so far. I've only worn it maybe three or four times and I do like it. It's a very, it's a full coverage foundation. However, it's very easy to sheer out. So I've been actually using two things to apply it. I've been using the Beauty Blender Wet and using that. And I also have been using the Sephora Airbrush 55 Platinum Brush, which they reformulated or remade this brush so it doesn't look the same, but has the same effect. Um, and I find those are much better for this kind of foundation than say like a flat, dense kabuki brush. Especially if you don't want the full coverage. If you want the full coverage, a brush like this is great. But I, um, I just really wanted it to even out my skin tone. I have a lot of redness going on here. And um, for that I really like it. You do have to shake it up very well. It was a little bit watery when I first opened it. Um, but it's nice. It gives really nice coverage and I have no complaints about it so far. And I actually have been setting it with the Laura Mercier Mineral Foundation in natural beige. And I had asked the guy at the counter, I told him I was natural beige, this was my color and the powder, and he said that the powder shades and the silk cream foundation shades are completely different. So this is still the perfect shade for me and medium ivory is the best shade for liquid wise, but it they work very nicely together. And I actually um, use the same brush after I use for the liquid. I go back over with the powder and, and it works really, really well. So I'm very, very happy with that. Then I picked up the Honey Bath in Ombre Vanilla. And I had never tried this before, but I had seen really nice reviews and read really good reviews on it. And um, the smell just is amazing. It comes with this little like honeycomb stick, which I think is so cute. And um, they have them in every, every like their line I think has like five or six different scents. This is their newest one, but it's permanent, thank goodness, because I was, I smelled it and I'm like, is this a Christmas only scent? Because I'm going to be so upset. And he said, no, it's part of their permanent line. Um, so it's basically just a bubble bath. And it smells so amazing. Um, and they also told me that it is extremely concentrated, so you don't need a lot. So literally he said, dip this in once and like twirl it under the water and you get crazy soft crazy crazy bubbles so I'm very curious to see the bubble comparison between this and my Lush bubble bars because that's currently what I'm using for bubble baths so I love this and I'm so excited about the scent of it I love the ombre vanilla it's um it's vanilla and amber kind of if you like that I really like there's no scents from Laura Mercier that I don't like um, I used to have her whole collection of body creams, which featured every single one of them, and I loved them all. But for some reason, the baths, I smelled all of them, and like some I didn't like for a bath scent, and others like I just felt were a better like cream and lotion scent. Um, like I really like her fig and her pistachio. I didn't, I'm not a fan of almond in general, so I wasn't going to get that. But And then I also got the um, body souffle cream to follow up with the bubble bath, just as a nice little... And it looks like this. And again, I'm very curious to try this and see how it compares to the Josie Marin um, whipped argan oil, which I've been using currently. And again, the smell is so great. I would have gotten the lotion in any scent, honestly, because I like them all. But I just thought my bath will be scented that one, so I'll just get the same lotion. And um, to be honest, they consistency-wise feel feels very, very similar to the Josie Marin one. It's a very whipped, uh, loose, like creamy 
creamy consistency. So I am excited about that. I, like I said, I had never tried anything bath products related aside from the body lotions from Laura Mercier. So that was super exciting. Okay, lastly, I went into Henry Bendel because a trip to New York is never complete without a stop into their Fifth Avenue store, which is, I say it every time, it's like every girly girl's dreamland. It's like candy land for girls. And um, I met one of my subscribers named Robbie. So if you're watching, hello, Robbie. And he works there. And he took me on this kind of like backdoor tour of Henry Bendel and kind of showed me different brands that I had never heard of prior to that. I feel like when I go in there, I always look at the same stuff and the same makeup counters. And I go to the things that I'm familiar with. And it was so great meeting him and having him take us around because he introduced me to so many other brands that I had never heard of. And that I probably would have never even given another look to because I have walked past them so many times from being in there. So to start out, he introduced me to the designer of Dauphines of New York. And if you watched my, um, and if you watched my Merry Christmas outfit of the day, I had on one of her amazing headpieces and, um, I actually got to meet the designer Summer who is so incredibly sweet and she makes these luxury hair accessories. And it's so funny because they had contacted me months ago about possibly doing a review and like a sponsored giveaway and I said I had never heard of their brand so I wanted to look into it a little bit and I'm usually not somebody that wears headbands so at first I was a little like, hmm, I don't know if I'd be the best person to do this and then once I saw the kind of headbands that they were, I was all over it because they kind of double as necklaces, as I've said. So Summer, the designer, was actually in the store when I was there. So Robbie took me upstairs and I met her and she was, like I said, amazingly sweet. And we were just playing with all of her headpieces and trying them on and um, she let me pick out a bunch, which I was completely floored and not expecting. And um, oh, I just love them. They're so pretty. So this is the one that I wore on Christmas. And she uses all, all of her headpieces are made right in Soho, New York, and they're all made with like genuine Swarovski crystals, different kind of gemstones, like high quality, precious stones, and just amazing. So this one is clear crystals with a nice little ribbon going through and they all have this like bra strap feature, which is really nice because it's adjustable. And the typical way you're supposed to wear them is kind of like bohemian style, like over your head like that, which is really pretty. What I did on Christmas was I took my hair and I kind of like rolled it up in the back and tucked it under so you could wear it like that. This one I specifically picked for Christmas because I knew what my outfit would look like and I thought it would go really, really well. So you guys saw what it looked like in my hair. I'll just put it on as like a necklace so you could see that option too. So. The bra strap is kind of in the back, it's hidden by my hair, and it just looks like a gorgeous statement piece. So that's why I love these he these headbands because they double as a as a like statement necklace and a piece. This was the first one. The next one is gold, and again, very simple but very chic. So it's like this piece of gold leather, and then a very very and it's stuck to all the fuzzies thin, thin, delicate band of crystals. And again, with a signature strap. And I just thought this would be so pretty if you were wearing gold jewelry and you wanted to accent. I feel like when you wear these in your hair, you don't need a lot of accessories, uh, maybe a nice pair of studs or something like that. But again, here's what it looks like on. I would even wear these, this, and like puff this up and get some volume there. I think that's really, really pretty. It's definitely a different look for me, but I like it nonetheless. Really, really pretty. So that's the gold one. This one, um, Nick really liked this one on me, actually. And I feel like this one is a little bit more understated. It's, um, it's kind of like a cotton, not cotton, like a nylon, like light blue gray color with crystals just going down. And you can just see how sparkly and shiny it is. But again, like this is one, like the, the, um, this is one that I would wear to work, no problem. And like wear every day with my outfits. And, um, it's so fun because you can definitely like, you have so many different options with these and, and different ways to wear them. Like I said, if you ever get tired of them, you could just use them as a necklace. So I absolutely love this. And the last one, which is probably my favorite, um, it's all freshwater pearls, and then there's one like pave round crystal. 
And like I said, this was my favorite. I wore this the next day in New York and I loved it. I loved wearing it like this. You could put the bead, like the ball in the front or on the side. Here it is again as a necklace, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I just feel like this designer has come up with such a niche in this like industry because I have never seen anything like this. Granted, I've seen a lot of headbands and a lot of styles. I have just never seen any made this this beautifully, like with jewels and crystals and gems. And so I really like poofed up my hair, but this was how I wore it, and I just loved it. It's nice to keep your hair off your face. It's just so delicate and pretty, and I am obsessed. All right, let's just fix this now. <laughs> So I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway in the future with, with these headbands. They are a little bit on the expensive side, but definitely keep in mind the jewels and the gems. She uses real stuff to make this, the, these, bra these bracelets, these headbands. So I am going to be doing a giveaway with them, so definitely stay tuned for that. She actually also gave me a little clip, too. Again, she had clips. She had, if you're getting married, like, I wish I knew about this brand before my wedding because I definitely think I would have picked something up for my hair for my wedding day. She does a ton of bridal jewelry for your hair. Um, oh, and I just could kick myself that I didn't know about her stuff because she just makes so many different pieces. And for all different occasions, if you have, like, a black tie event, like, I just feel like Henry Bendel is the perfect place for her to be in right now. She's also in Bergdorf Goodman's and she's internationally. She's been featured in tons of style magazines and crazy. It's all on her website, which I'll link. But um, this is a clip that she also gave me. Um, it's just so gorgeous. I, it just freaking gorgeous. And um, the back is very unique how you open it. You kind of pinch these together. And then, and I like that because I feel like... Most clips, when I use them, I can never get them to close because my hair is so darn thick and I can never, I can never hold the amount of hair that I want. So, just to give you an idea, I need to see what I'm doing, but there's what the clip looks like. Oh, it's just, her stuff is just gorgeous. Like, I, there's no other, there's no other words to describe. Gorgeous is just the way I would describe her stuff so now that my hair has gotten a little bit messy let's move on so definitely keep your eyes out for that because I'm so excited to, to give stuff away on her behalf okay so one of the designers that Robbie introduced me to is called Auden I think A-U-D-E-N and he knows that I wear a lot of studs in my videos and so he wanted to show me this brand because um, they are very they make these beautiful studs so I actually ended up picking up a pair. And again, these are genuine Swarovski crystals. They're so amazingly gorgeous. Um, I'll just show you what they look like in my ears. I love them. They're not, um, here's the brand name in case you. They, all of their, this jewelry designer stuff is very eclectic and very different. And I just love it. So these are the earrings, which I am obsessed with. I think just think they're so pretty um, for every day, for events, for whatever. Like I would just, I've already worn these to work a couple times. Um, they're just so, so, so pretty. They were featured on covers of magazines and this stuff is just gorgeous. They had made a lot of like chain necklaces, other kinds of studs. Um, they're just so pretty. I just love them. They're simple. They're classy. I really love them and I was so excited he introduced me to those. And I also picked up a candle, which I've always seen these in Henry Bendel, but I've never actually purchased one. Um, so I did end up getting one this time around in the scent Sugared Amber. And I love the candles and how they look. They're very chic, very plain, like they're just white, beige color. And this one smells so good. It's just a white candle and it just smells like candy basically so I got this candle for our bedroom they have a million different kinds of scents and flavors they have diffusers and I just love the store I could seriously go broke so easily in that store and it stinks because the Henry Bendel in King of Prussia doesn't have nearly half the stuff that the flagship store has the flagship store is like three floors and the one in King of Prussia is just like a snapshot I think most of the standalone stores, freestanding stores, are just a snapshot of what the line carries. Like this Auden designer, was, ne I've never seen it in King of Prussia. They don't really feature 
a lot of those designers, it's more so like Henry Bendel brand jewelry and things like that. Next, I picked up an agenda because they were 50% off and I hadn't gotten one yet for the new year. So they had all different, um, they had all different covers, like different looking covers, but I wanted something a little professional looking and not so girly girl. So I just went for the brown and white pinstripe. It just says Henry Bendel there. The pages are gold, which are really pretty. And um, I like, so cute. I like this. The last one that I had, I got from Mom Agenda online. And I did like it. I like how it was set up inside. But um, it was really heavy because it was a hardback. And so it just became a really just annoying to carry around because I already had so much stuff in my bag to carry around. So this one's a soft bound binder, binder book. So it won't be as... Um, as heavy and it's still a really nice size and I like that they give you the glance like the month at a glance and then they also break it down by days and then times so I really like that in the back they have a lot of stuff that I probably won't use like maps and um, there's a spot for notes which I do use that section there is a whole uh, international you know international dialing codes world hotels restaurant record. I mean, a lot of unnecessary stuff that I don't need. And it actually goes into 2014 a little bit of the way. So I really like this for work. Um, it's nice. It's lightweight. It's soft and it's very classy looking. So picked up that. The last thing that I got at Henry Bendel, Robbie had introduced me to this makeup brand that I had never heard of before. And I believe it's only, I don't know that it's exclusive to Henry Bendel. Um, I was talking to the makeup artist and she said that they're sold in some salons and things like that, but it's definitely not a brand. It's called Giella and it's definitely not a brand that you can get at a department store. So if you're ever in the Henry Bendel on Fifth Avenue in New York, I would definitely check this out. It's literally like in the way back of the store. I have never seen it before. He pointed it out to me. I've, I've just never paid attention. Everything that they do is like custom color. Like they hand make literally literally like watched her make this lip pencil so um, I thought I had to get something and I did get a she has a lot of um, everything that she makes like custom eyeshadows and cheek products like blushes are loose powders but she does have like already made pressed shadows and blushes and I did pick up an eyeshadow that I for the life of me cannot find where it is if and when I find it which I hope to find because I really liked it um, I'll show it in a video but um, the color was pink champagne or rose I don't know something really pretty it's like a pink rose gold but anyway I wanted to get like a custom color while I was there and so she asked me kind of like what I liked and I said right now I'm kind of into like the berry red color so she had me try on this tester it looks like this and I hesitate even showing you the color because literally like once I do that it's there for days like I <laughs> does not come off so I loved it and I tried it on and it was a bold bright lift and I absolutely loved it it's a kind of a mix of red and berry and it's so gorgeous and I'll put this on in a video coming up maybe in the next video I'll have it on but um, this is what the brand name is just in case you want to write it down and they do have a website um, but literally I watched her make this like she heated up the cut the pigments and poured in the pigments and then like stirred it around and put it in the pencil and then had to let it dry it was the coolest thing ever and I will say that these are so long wearing like I wore it that like I obviously had it on from trying it on it lasted me through dinner that entire night I wore it the next day it was on all day like you it's just like a chubby pencil it, very reminiscent of the NARS pencils that I've been loving um, and I love the packaging and it was just such a cool concept like I've never seen anything like that where they can custom make you colors the only drawback to that is if I ever want to like repurchase this if I run out I don't know like how to describe it she did give me her card and she wrote she put a little sticker up here that says blue so I don't know if she would know what that means but um that's the only drawback like unless you go back in Henry Bendel and bring your product and say I want this exact thing it would be hard to like reorder stuff but um, like I said they do have a lot of like ready-made pressed pressed pigments and um, shadows and stuff like that but I just thought this was such a cool concept and I definitely think if you're ever in the area and you can go in like just treat yourself it it wasn't even that expensive um, to a cool like custom color lipstick or 
blush or something like that. I have no idea where that eyeshadow went. It's driving me bonkers. So that is my New York City haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and had an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!